as he passed through from Mecca to Jerusalem in Baytul Maqdis, you know, he could describe what he saw to the people who actually been to Baytul Maqdis to Jerusalem, because they knew that this man, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu has never been to Jerusalem. Okay, they knew that because he was with them all the time. It's, it's like imagine a small community, and you see the people every day almost, right? So to go to Jerusalem, you'd be absent for about three months, for example, because that's how long it will take from going there, right? So he wasn't in their eyes someone that he disappeared suddenly and then he came back and and so on. So as he then described the actual Bayt al Maqdis. Yeah, um, some people say it's the Temple of Solomon, and others who was the, the Holy uh, Sepulchre or whatever that this structure is, with the doors and windows, because Allah then showed him visually at the time when they were asking, and they could relate to it exactly. This is how it is. And as he saw a par caravan passing by on his way back to Mecca, he was describing them, and they ca these people came later on, and he would describe exactly how he witnessed them. So the people. People, even though they haven't witnessed him traveling, but they could relate to what he has seen and what he relates to that, yes, he's describing what is exactly what, you know, as if someone has been there. Okay.